paper and the best part is having lots of fun with art a la carte. Hey everyone, welcome back to Art a la carte. And in this episode I want to talk about taking and drawing a dog's and maybe in just not the traditional standing or sitting positions. What if you want to just really kind of loosen your drawing up and get a little bit more flow and life into that? And so the thing I would recommend to you guys is just to begin to look at tons of different photos and just draw them. Draw them in all different positions and angles and, um, and just fill up sketchbooks like I've done in these pictures here. But for this actual tutorial, I'm going to take um, kind of a, a goofy pose, um, but one that actually I actually have gotten requested a couple of different times by my viewers, and that's how to draw a dog like scratching their ear or their neck or something like that, and it's just kind of an off the wall pose, but it's something that they do a lot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called gesture drawing, which means we're going to just take some shapes and lines and apply them really quickly and lightly to represent everything and get that motion and, and things appearing there. We're not gonna worry about detail or anything like that right now. So go ahead and grab your paper and a pencil and the best part is, oh no, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna use a lighter pencil, so I'm using a 2B. You can use whatever you want. Just the trick is you want to use a very light hand. And so we're just gonna represent things with different shapes. So I'm gonna start off here with a circle for the head, and then I'm gonna go with the core kind of bend, the spinal cord. And the dog's kind of sitting a little bit towards us. Um, so the, the spine goes like this down to the chest here, but because he's got to reach his hind leg up to get to his ear, he's going to kind of, there's the rump right there. They have this really nice twist right in there. And then they have kind of one leg here, and then the other leg is kind of raised up here. So you can see how I'm just drawing these lines that doesn't look like anything, um, but I'm just getting that motion to make it look so it's not stiff. Now the two side legs here, this one's gonna come out to brace itself a little bit there. And this one is just kind of slightly bracing itself and it's bent down just a little bit. And this back leg here is kind of, it's kind of sitting on its side hip a little bit more. So there's its kind of leg and its paw here and then its little tail kind of coming up right there. So you can kind of get that idea here. So they kind of contort themselves if you look at how dogs sit when they are scratching their ears. It's kind of funny looking. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be the most comfortable, but that's what we are going to do. And cats are very similar. Cats will do the same thing when they are scratching their ears too. So now I'm going to go ahead and just really quickly put in kind of the muzzle circle right in there. And I'm not going for just, you know, that really crisp line in. I'm going for really loose lines, getting that that motion, that flow in there. This is something that was probably the hardest thing for me to learn how to draw, uh, not dog scratching themselves, but to draw a loose and flowing line, to get this gesturing down. It literally took months and months and months, and even even nowadays, um, I have to really kind of keep practicing it or I kind of lose my, my flow of gesturing. So it's, don't get frustrated if it's something that doesn't come easily or if you don't understand it right away, but also don't give up on it. Um, just keep working and practicing at it. Once you kind of have the shape that you want, now you can begin to go back in and to crisp up your lines and to really pick out the lines that you want. Now, if this is the first time you're drawing this position or you're not really confident in drawing dogs, I highly recommend don't try to start off drawing your, you know, portrait of your family dog that you want to give to your grandmother and because you're just going to find it's going to frustrate you. Grab a sketchbook like I have here and just fill the sketchbook up with as many sketches as you possibly can. And don't even worry about going to this, this stage here of going and refining everything. Just get this the motion, get the positioning right. The more you practice this first step here, the better your pictures are going to be. And this doesn't just go with drawing dogs scratching themselves. This goes with anything that you're drawing. Just really practice on that one thing over and over and over and over again. And let yourself learn that. It's kind of like when you're learning the piano um, you, you you know you learn to do your scales first and then you slowly begin to build up where you can actually play a song. This is you know your warm up here. Once you get your lines in there you can go back in with eraser. I'm going to use this um, click eraser just to kind of go in here and just clean up the lines I don't want. You could use any kind of eraser, gummy eraser, plastic eraser, whatever. If you have a eraser on the end of your pencil you could use that. Um, 
kind of clean up all those lines that you don't want. Or sometimes it's nice, especially if it's in your sketchbook, to leave all those lines. Kind of let you know how you built this piece up. And again, just practice, practice, practice. So this dog piece is in honor of our family getting a new member. Eva got a puppy and we are so excited. We And it's not something that we just kind of rushed into. In fact, Eva has been looking for it and praying for the perfect dog at the perfect time for probably almost a year now. And we've been waiting and waiting for just the right puppy to come across um, that would just fit with our family. And I do believe that we got the best dog in the world. Now that's saying something because I'm, I mean, not that I don't mind dogs, but I'm a definite cat person. So for me to really have absolutely fallen in love with a dog is um, pretty amazing. So she's a little chaweeny and Eva made, named her Dot because of the dot on her head and on her nose. And so we call her Dottie. And she is so cute. She's a little chewy, but she doesn't bark at hardly anything. And she's very calm, but she loves to play. She's just almost not even real. It's just, it's so cool. She's an amazing little dog. Well, whether you guys have a dog or not, I hopefully this tutorial has helped you in kind of deciding how to draw dogs in different positions um, and kind of work on getting your drawing kind of looser and getting focusing more on the motion and the shapes rather than those details. So um, if you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Let's me know kind of what videos you like to see in the future. Um, and if you have a suggestion for a video in, in the future, let me know in the comment section below. I definitely take all of your guys' comments into consideration when planning the upcoming tutorials. Well, thank you again for joining me. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.